Good afternoon, and welcome to our 158th commencement ceremony. I am Dr. Rita Tolliver Roberts, Provost and Vice President of Academic Affairs, and will serve as presiding officer. I now call to order these commencement exercises. Kindly remain standing or get to your feet for our national anthem. recognize the class of 2023. I commend all of our students graduating today in person and online. To those participating virtually, please leave a comment in the live stream so that everyone at home and from the Pierce community can celebrate you. The Pierce College graduating class is 316 members strong. with 51 graduates in our master's programs and, 200 and, and 265 graduates in our undergraduate programs. <laughs> graduates, we are very proud of all that you have accomplished. But there is another special group that I would also like to congratulate. I would like to formally recognize the family and friends of our graduating class. understand that our graduates have depended upon your support and encouragement throughout their journey. For those here in person and those cheering on our graduates from home, let's hear it for the family and friends of the class of 2023. I'm also pleased to report that many members of our graduating class have received significant support from their employers. The list of organizations is too long to mention individually. However, please refer to the screen. Let's also recognize the women and men who serve in our military. Thank you for your service. The reputation of an institution is built on the quality of its programs, services, and graduates. The overseers of that quality are the college's expert faculty, staff, and administration. I extend gratitude to the Pierce College community for all the support they provide to our students. The Pierce College community remains steadfast and strong, growing leaders in healthcare, human services, criminal justice, technology, and business. We are proud of our advancements as we expand our master's and undergraduate degree programs, but most notable, our new Master's of Science in Business Administration program and our short-term program offers where individuals can earn academic and industry-recognized credentials. I would also like to recognize one of our signature corporate partners, JetBlue. 
Through JetBlue, their employee scholars are able to earn bachelor's and master's degree programs at Pierce. Today, we are celebrating 10 JetBlue scholars who are graduating. Congratulations. An institution depends on its board of trustees for guidance and support. The trustees, titles, and affiliations are listed in the commencement program. Joining us this afternoon are the following trustees. Trustees, please stand when your name is called. Tony Pergolin, board chair. <laughs> Sheila Ireland. <laughs> Tom McLaughlin. <laughs> and Charmaine Matlock-Turner. <laughs> Trustees, thank you for your leadership and your ongoing support. Please join me now in welcoming Pierce College President and CEO, Dr. Mary Ellen Caro. Good afternoon. Welcome and greetings class of 2023 and congratulations again. It is wonderful to see all of you out there. I will be directing a lot of my words to this class, but I would like to just personally thank you all for being here, for your support to our graduates. I'm especially thrilled to see the little ones who can look up and see their moms, their dads, their aunts, their uncles, their friends, and really get a picture of what role model behavior is. So thank you for bringing your family and friends. As we turn to our graduates, as Dr. Tolliver Roberts said, one of the largest classes and the largest at the graduate level, this is your day. Today we literally shine the lights and on this stage they're pretty bright, but we shine these lights on you and your incredible achievements, your grit and determination in the face of so many challenges have brought you to this point. You are inspirational. Your stories are so touching and your enthusiasm is contagious. And I can see the crowd that we have out here. It truly is contagious and they are with you. You have my deep respect and admiration the past few years have asked so much of us, so much of you. You have had to learn to work remotely, in some cases help your children learn remotely, recover from post-pandemic life, and navigate an ever-changing ecosystem. But you, the Pierce College class of 2023, continued to believe in better. Over 300 total graduates, as we said before, JetBlue grads, military grads, and outside of Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Delaware, we have graduates from California, Florida, Georgia, Maryland, Minnesota, Missouri, New York, North Carolina, South Carolina, Texas, Utah, Virginia, and Ohio. And all of you who are outside of Pennsylvania and traveled to see us, please raise your hands and let us know who you are. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to Philadelphia. Our graduates range in age from 20 to over 80 and have proven once again that it is never too late to advance your education. Learning at Pierce is truly continuous. You have many choices in your academic journey. Thank you, each and every one of you, for selecting Pierce College and giving us the opportunity to support you and serve you. This is the greatest day of the year for us. 
We get to meet you all. We get to see what this, this journey has meant to you. We get to hear from you. And we get to experience the joy and celebration of this day with you. Now, the landscape of higher education is truly changing. There are many pathways, many opportunities for continuous learning. All are challenging. All require hard work and dedication. You've already demonstrated this and more in reaching these educational goals. This class also represents participation in the expanding portfolio of educational experiences. And as our graduates progress uh, across the stage, you will hear the mention of not only degrees, but certificates and embedded credentials. Some of you are beginning your career, some changing career paths, and some enhancing your current journey. Some completing unfinished personal build business of earning your credential. What is common among you is that all of you have made this investment in yourselves through education. And it is an, an investment that will pay dividends for you and your families. You are all amazing. Pierce College embodies an institutional history that especially now adds fitting context to this special event. Pierce was founded by an educator to support returning Civil War veterans transitioning during a time of great division and strife in this country. Pierce has been here for over 150 years throughout tragic low points to common high points in our country's history. We're here in this ever-changing time to continue our mission to help people transform their lives and create a better future through education. As such, we are committed to the continuing recovery of this region, significantly impacted by the pandemic, improving the current state of our society and standing in outrage against systemic injustice. We are strengthened in our resolve to be a force supporting people and communities that we serve here in Philadelphia and across the country. We are proud to have the designation of being an adult minority serving institution and we cherish our mission. It is my honor to be the president of this great institution and the first woman president in 155 years. I am so proud to confer your well-deserved degrees. You're the reason we exist. You're the reason this is the greatest day of the year for us. We look forward to this day with such joy. And I do want to pause just a moment and recognize my partner, our provost, Dr. Rita Tolliver Roberts. Thank you, Dr. Roberts. And also the entire team of Pierce that puts together this event and looks forward and truly thinks about every detail to make you feel special and appreciated. Thank you all from Pierce. And I went off script, so I'm probably in trouble, but. Anyway, so today, relish your achievement, create memories, take a moment to connect with the energy and experience. And as I said to the graduates before, take a moment to walk across the stage slowly. I know most of us wanna rush across and get out of the light, but enjoy the moment. We'll move you along if you take too long. But <laughs> and get your pictures in and give your little ones a chance to really experience their loved ones walking across. We want to hear from all of you. My best wishes to each of you. Stay strong and know that we are here for you today, 
and always. Thank you very much. Please join me now in welcoming the chair of the Pierce College Board of Trustees, Tony Bergolin, who will introduce our keynote speaker. Tony? Thank you, Dr. Caro. And let me wish, um, give you my warmest congratulations to all the graduates today. Enjoy your day. <clears throat> It is my honor this afternoon to introduce our keynote speaker, Sheila Ireland. Sheila Ireland, president and CEO of Philadelphia OIC, is a renowned regional workforce development leader with over 25 years of experience leading human resources, training, and workforce development in the nonprofit, healthcare, consulting, government, and manufacturing field. She previously served as the Deputy Secretary of Workforce Development and the Department of Labor for the Com Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, where she oversaw Pennsylvania's public workforce development system. Sheila also served as the Executive Director of Workforce Development for the City of Philadelphia, where she managed Philadelphia's first citywide workforce strategy, fueling Philadelphia's talent engine and was the founding director of the University Cities District West Philadelphia Skills Initiative, where she launched UCD's first social venture, Green City Works. Sheila Ireland currently serves on the board of trustees for Pierce College. She has received many honors for her dedicated work, including being named one of the 100 most influential labor leaders and one of Pennsylvania's most influential black leaders. Sheila earned her master's degree in human capital development from LaSalle University, a bachelor's degree in human resources from Temple University, and the associate degree in finance from the Community College of Philadelphia. During today's noon commencement ceremony, Sheila Island was awarded an honorary doctorate from Pierce College. Now please join me in congratulating my colleague and my friend, Dr. Sheila Ireland. I'm waiting for the moment when I get used to being called that. <laughs> I hope it's never, <laughs> and in some way. So ladies and gentlemen, esteemed faculty, devoted parents, family and friends, and most importantly, the class of 2023. Congratulations. First, I, I must confess, I am thrilled. I'm still over the moon from this morning to be standing here as your honorary doctorate recipient. It's a profound honor to receive such an award and to stand before you speaking to the graduates of a venerable institution, one that is known for its ability to nurture and guide the dreams of so many. Pierce College is a beacon of hope and opportunity where the pursuit of education is not limited by ace, ra age, race, or circumstances, but it's rather a testament the in, to the indomitable human spirit and our hopes for the future, not just for ourselves, but for our families and our children as well. Looking out at all of you today, I am of course reminded of my own educational journey and like many of you, when I went to college for the first time, I did not get it right. My declared major was biology, but in reality, my primary field of study as a 17-year-old newly released from my parents' supervision was partying. <laughs> I was dismayed to learn that partying, however, was not officially recognized as a course of study despite my proficiency, right? <laughs> so I found myself navigating the real world and coming face to face with barriers that seemed insurmountable without a degree. So I got to work, working by day, going to school by night like many of you, and today, three degrees later, and countless cups of coffee, I can tell you something, it was worth it. Hard work and education has given me the opportunity to pursue an extraordinary career. 
and for the past 25 years, I've been in what I call the people business, managing HR, training, OD, workforce development across a range of industries. But my experience in those fields, especially in the last 15 years, has provided me with a definitive proof, one that I know for sure at this point, that everyone, and I mean everyone, has talent, but not everyone has opportunity. My mission in life is to level the playing field in the world of work, especially for communities of color. And as such, I am a proud member of the Pierce Board of Trustees. As a college primarily serving working adults, many of whom are African American women, Pierce College has been instrumental in breaking down barriers, shattering glass ceilings, and leveling the playing field. And I believe that when young girls particularly young African-American girls, look at you. They will see what they can do. Leaders, scholars, innovators, trailblazers. You see, education and lifelong learning gives you true power. It's the transformative key that opens doors and breaks barriers, and it's a tool for both personal and communal empowerment. And when you are strategic, which is a requirement, in today's world, a lot of the learning you will get will come from your peers. Fortunately, I had the opportunity to meet a few of your classmates and hear their stories. Their stories of transformation embody the achievements that we are here to celebrate today. Take Merrick Allen. He started his journey at Pierce in 2017, inspired by his wife, a fellow Pierce graduate. Today, he is an example for his sons and a pillar of support at his workplace. His message, build a support network and pay it forward. Take Francis, Lu <laughs> I did it again, like <laughs> I always get her name wrong, um, who carried the secret of being just three credits short of her degree for years. She finally put herself first and found the strength to complete what she started. Her message, you are valuable. And every day you are creating value, even if you don't know it. Consider the story of Betty Pierce Nixon, a woman who had a good job, but realized that learning is eternal. She overcame her fears. She graduated this morning with us. Her message, it is never too late to pursue your dreams. And our speaker this afternoon, Shanice, she's paying it forward by becoming a high school teacher and is another example of the perseverance nurtured here at Pierce. Through her actions, she embodies the spirit of giving back and fostering future generations. And Shanice, your message is perhaps the most powerful of all. And for me, I heard you say, when you get on the field, play bigger than just you, pay it forward. In each of these stories, we see echoes of our own experiences, and we see the struggle, the determination, and most importantly, the success that comes from belief and tenacity. So if anyone ever asks you, do you know any heroes? You can confidently say, yes, I do. I went to school with them, and I graduated with them at Pierce College. But remember, even heroes have their struggles, the long nights of studying when the rest of the world slept, the early mornings juggling children, work, and classes, the moments of self-doubt and fear. You've all been there. Thomas Edison is quoted as saying, many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. But you, you didn't. You didn't give up. And you're here today because you fought, you persisted, and you triumphed. So in closing, let me share with you one bit of advice. We are celebrating a phenomenal achievement of these graduates uh, that you have made happen. But as you step out into the world, don't let your journey end here. This is just another chapter in your book. Keep writing your story with courage and conviction. Keep learning, keep growing, and keep inspiring those around you. As graduates of Pierce, you're equipped with more than just knowledge. You're armed with resilience determination, and the audacity to dream big. I am excited for the world because it's about to meet an extraordinary group of individuals who are ready to make a difference. Thank you once again, and congratulations.
Good afternoon. I am Dr. Shannon Begley, Dean of Academic Advising and Registrar, and I am delighted to introduce our student speaker, Shawnice Blake. Shanice is graduating with a Master of Science degree in Organizational Leadership and Management with a concentration in Nonprofit Leadership. She also previously earned an Associate in Science degree in a Bachelor of Science degree in Criminal Justice Studies from Pierce College. She is also the President of the Graduate Student Association. Shanice is the first person in her family to attend college and is proud that she hasn't let any of life's barriers or obstacles keep her from her goals. She believes that her life's purpose is to promote the success of others and plans to use that philosophy in her career after graduation. Please welcome Ms. Shanice Blake. Good afternoon. I am grateful for that warm introduction. I am honored and truly blessed to join the Pierce College 2023 commencement celebration. I would like to welcome students, parents, family members, and the Board of Trustees who are here to join us in this unforgettable afternoon of success. I would like to take this opportunity to thank President Kara, the Board of Trustees, the Graduate Student Association, Dr. D, Dr. Zapala, and Dr. Pepe. My name is Shanice Blake, and I am the Graduate Student Association President. I am proud to be a part of this class because I get to experience this journey with all of you. I am here to tell you, one thing we all learned during our time at Pierce College was this. It doesn't matter who finishes the race first as long as you finish. There will be trials, but as long as we remain persistent, those challenges will be life lessons and inspiration to keep moving forward. I started my associate's degree at Pierce College in 2014 with the goal of working with the youth. I accomplished that short-term goal by earning my degree. After that, I became more eager and was encouraged by my academic advisor to earn my bachelor's degree. I honestly did not know I had it in me, but the support from Pierce College staff and hyper learning model that Pierce perfectly made it all possible for me to obtain my bachelor's degree. I am sure that many of you had similar experiences. My story, unlike many of your stories, I am a mother of a 10 year old son. I work two jobs, attend to my son's extracurricular activities and have to stay on top of my grades and obligations to community service. Even with a lot on my plate, I could not get enough of Pierce College. <laughs> Last year, I decided that as a black woman, I wanted to be a part of change and contribute to the success of others. And so I enrolled in, in the master's program majoring in organizational leadership and management, focusing on nonprofit leadership. I work full-time as a school safety officer for the School District of Philadelphia. With my master's degree, I can apply for an emergency certification to teach in the school district. I will then have the opportunity to ensure an environment that is conducive to learning, help students stay on the right track, and implement restorative practices to address social-emotional needs of every student. My overall goal in life is to support the success of the youth in order to help them bring their dreams into reality. We can all be assured that our degree at Pierce College will help us reach our goals. Life is a beautiful journey that is meant to be embraced to the fullest every day. However, that doesn't mean you will always wake up ready to seize the day. And sometimes you will need a reminder of your why. Let today's celebration of accomplishment be your why, why you work so hard, and why you strive to achieve this goal of earning your degree. This is our moment to celebrate all that we have accomplished. Again, I would like to wish everyone congratulations and peace and prosperity on your future journey. 
Pierce College has broken down barriers for working adults to be successful. In order for us to be successful, always remember where you want to end in life. Thank you, peers, for setting us up for success. In closing, I would like to give a special thanks to my mom, my, <laughs> my stepfather, partner, and son for being my largest support system, and most importantly, giving me the time I needed to myself in order to get where I am today. Congratulations to the class of 2023. Thank you, Shanice, and congratulations. Pierce College is especially privileged to honor members of the graduating class who have distinguished themselves in their chosen field of study. We will now present the special awards in the order in which they appear in your program, beginning with the Raymond L. Pulzer Class of 52 Alumni Leadership Award. Good afternoon. I am Tracy Thomas, the Associate Dean of Student Support Services, and I am pleased to present the following awards for students' academic achievement and or leadership. The Raymond L. Palzer Alumni Association Academic Leadership Award is presented to Merrick Allen, <laughs> Francis Legareta, and Betty Pierce Nixon, congratulations. The Mary W. Walker 33 Center for Academic Excellence Award is presented to Jared Berlow, congratulations. The Accreditation Council for Business Schools and Programs Student Leadership Award is presented to Mara Burry, congratulations. The Margaret Obosian Excellence in Writing Award is presented to Brendan Bosard. Congratulations. The Patricia A. Rucker Graduate Studies Award for Academic Excellence is presented to Shanice Blake. Congratulations. We will now begin the roll call of candidates. I am pleased to report that many students in the class of 2023 have earned academic honors through their hard work and dedication. Academic honors will be read with the candidates' names. Our faculty chairs will conduct the roll call, starting with our graduate degree programs. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Dr. Adrian Zappala, Professor and Dean of Graduate Studies. I am pleased to call the role of our Master of Science in Healthcare Administration, Master of Science in Higher Education Leadership, Master of Science in Organizational Leadership and Management, and Graduate Certificates in Higher Education Leadership and Operations Management candidates for graduation. I'd like to ask the candidates for those degrees to please rise. President Caro, I have the honor of recommending to you the following list of candidates for graduation. These candidates have met all the requirements for the Master of Science degree and graduate certificate programs. First, I would like to ask Ms. Ke Ms. Faye Kirkland to come forward, please.
Ms. Kirkland is receiving the posthumous degree on behalf of her late husband, James Kirkland. James was one of the eldest graduates in the class of 2023 at 82 years old. He earned a Master of Science degree in Organizational Leadership and Management. Master of Science candidates for healthcare administration are Manal A. Abuali. <laughs> Courtney Bryant. Alina Chanel Fillmore. Meredy Chan. Janelle A. Lawson. Jasmine Norton. Jessica M. Brown. <laughs> Carolyn Abdulbaki. <laughs> Jennifer A. Reynolds. <laughs> Hazel V. Arroyo. Master of Science candidates for higher education leadership are Richard Magalhães Flowers. <laughs> also graduating with a graduate certificate in higher education leadership and a Master of Science in higher education leadership, Donna L. Scott. <laughs> Barbara Ann Bell. <laughs> Crystal M. Popiel. <laughs> the Master of Science candidates for organizational leadership and management are Frank T. Clements. Rosetta J. Fuller. Danielle E. Banks. <laughs> Tamaya Sosa. Kia Wallace. Yeah. 
Francesca Santiago. Andrea Taylor. Shanice A. Blake. <laughs> Rayshawn Michelle Ramsu. Also, in addition, graduating with a graduate certificate in operations management, Akisha M. Gonzalez. <laughs> Stephanie G. Nepper. Marquita Hudgens. Donche Speed. <laughs> Kernita B. Hinton. <laughs> Nakia M. Parker. Tania C. Bullard. <laughs> Bernice Yvette Everett. Janine N. Allen Bowens. Laura Elam Nurse. <laughs> Kahil Yvonne Kendell Hinton. Demond Lowe. Crystal J. Malave. The graduate certificate candidate for operations management is Rodney Ramsour. And uh, Masters of Healthcare in Masters of Science in Healthcare Administration, Letitia Davis. Okay. Please also refer to the screen for the list of candidates for graduation who are participating this afternoon virtually. These candidates have also met the requirements for our master's programs in healthcare administration and organizational leadership and management and graduate certificate programs in higher education leadership and operations management. Thank you. <laughs> President Caro, I have the honor of recommending to you the following student for the Bachelor of Science in Business in Organizational Leadership and Management. She has completed all of the requirements for the Bachelor of Science degree, and I present her now.
Christina Barnes. Thank you. Will the candidates for a degree or certificate in healthcare please rise? Hello. I am Dr. Stephanie Donovan, faculty chair and professor of health programs. I am pleased to call the role of healthcare administration, health information administration, health information technology, human services leadership, medical billing, and medical coding candidates for graduation. President Caro, I have the honor of recommending to you the following list of candidates for graduation. These candidates have met all the requirements for the Bachelor of Science degree, Associate in Science degree, or the Certificate of Proficiency. The Bachelor of Science candidates for Healthcare Administration are Erica Velez. Jesse Culp. <laughs> Faustina Edna Kanda, Kanda, magna cum laude. Gina Slocum. <laughs> Marta J. Torres. Adania Matthews. <laughs> Revea Buckingham, magna cum laude. Cindy Tapia Matos, magna cum laude. Wendy Tapia Matos, summa cum laude. Rashine S. Griffin. Kayla B. Larson, magna cum laude. Marquita Shauna Matthews, cum laude. The Bachelor of Science candidates for Health, Health Information Administration are Corenda Clark, Salate N. Saudaram, cum laude. Ramia Dene Borden. Leanne Parker. Surakala Modali, magna cum laude. Monique Adele Owens. Laveda White. <laughs> Peter J. Schaller, summa cum laude. Labria Ivy Catlett. The Associate Health Information Technology candidates are Your Marie Duran, cum laude. <laughs> Tiara Graham, magna cum laude. <laughs> Juliana Darko Anim. 
Liliana D. Mayfield. Shaquelle Renee Martin Smith. Brendan Bossard, summa cum laude. Quanda Payton. Ashley P. Williams. Cassandra Clark Mack, cum laude. The candidates for the Certificate of Proficiency in Medical Coding are Diane Maribel, Gina C. Dent, Tracy R. Scott, Terry S. Williams, April A. Carter. The candidates for the Bachelors of Human Services Leadership are Novlet Suber, Audra Johnson, Latoya J. Tomlinson, summa cum laude. Wandia L. Butcher, summa cum laude. Scott M. Stotland, magna cum laude. Adaris Burnett. Jerome Gray. Eddie Patterson. Please also refer to the screen for the list of candidates for graduation who are participating this afternoon virtually. These candidates have also met the requirements for our healthcare administration, health information administration, health information technology, human services leadership, medical billing, and medical coding. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Mike Agnello, faculty chair of legal studies, and I am pleased to call the role of paralegal studies, bachelor of science degree. President Caro, I have the honor of recommending to you the following candidate for graduation. She has met all of the requirements for the bachelor of science degree. The bachelor of science degree in paralegal studies. Rebecca Stone. Hello, I am Dr. Linda Curry, Program Manager and Professor for General Education. I am pleased to call the role of Liberal Studies and General Studies candidates for graduation. Liberal Studies and General Education, please rise and press F. <laughs> President Carroll, I have the honor of recommending to you the following list of candidates for graduation. These candidates have met all the requirements for the Bachelor of Arts and Associate of Arts degrees. The Bachelor of Arts candidates for Liberal Studies are... Nelson Hernandez. <laughs> Tamika T. Love. Donna Marie Mathis. Jasmine R. Stanley. Jonathan N. Adams. Jonathan. 
Regina Kaylee Smith, cum laude. Rochelle S. Gordon, cum laude. Christopher Guy, summa cum laude. Drew McCullough, summa cum laude. Madeline D. Santiago, cum laude. Tamika Stokes, magna cum laude. Dana Thorpe, summa cum laude. Brianna A. Long. Brianna is also graduating this evening with an associate in science in criminal justice. Sondra L. Burgess, magna cum laude. Adrian C. Holiday Singletary. Magna cum laude. <laughs> Jackie Bradshaw, summa cum laude. Jenea, <laughs> Jenea Nicole Robinson. <laughs> Najla Rashad, magna cum laude. So notice that we are the Bachelor of Arts and Associate in Arts as opposed to the Sciences. We're more artsy here. <laughs> we are putting on a show for you. <laughs> Shalvia Williams. <laughs> and the Associate in General Studies degree candidate Tanner T. Toady. <laughs> Delissa Nunez, cum laude. <laughs> Shelly Ann Archer. <laughs> Isis Muhammad. And as we finish our artistic production, please also refer to the screen for the list of candidates for graduation who are participating this afternoon virtually. These candidates have also met the requirements for our liberal studies and general studies programs. Thank you. As president of Pierce College, I have the distinct honor of conferring degrees on our graduates. 
Candidates on stage and those of you in our virtual audience, please stand. <sighs> Candidates, by the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and the Board of Trustees of Pierce College, I officially recognize and confer the Master of Science degree, Graduate Certificate, Bachelor of Science degree, Bachelor of Arts degree, Associate in Science degree, Associate in Arts degree, or the Certificate of Proficiency on you as graduates, Pierce College, Class of 2023. In recognition of that, you may now move your tassels from right to left. Congratulations. I am pleased at this point to call upon Ms. Rasheen Ramsu, President of the Pierce College Alumni Association, to formally induct the class of 2023 into the Alumni Association. Rasheen is part of the class of 2023, earning her master's in organizational leadership and management. She also graduated last year, earning a bachelor's degree in business administration. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon and congratulations again. Um, I am Rasheen Ramsu, president of the Alumni Association and I am pleased to officially welcome you to the Pierce College Alumni Association. As president of the association, I ask you to stay in touch with the college and I pledge that we will work to help you keep close ties to each other individually and to the Pierce alumni community as a whole. We also encourage our associate graduates to continue towards their bachelor's degrees and our bachelor's graduates to apply for our master's degree program. Joining the many double and triple graduates of Pierce College like myself. It is indeed an honor to induct each of you as members in good standing in the Pierce College Alumni Association. Congratulations and best of luck in your future endeavors. On behalf of Dr. Sheila Ireland, the trustees, faculty, staff, and administration of Pierce College, I extend congratulations to the class of 2023. Family and friends, kindly stay at your seats until our graduates have exited. Graduates, enjoy the sounds of Ain't No Stopping Us Now as you proceed out of the theater. Thank you and good afternoon. <laughs> 